I love this prayer that St. Francis of Assisi wrote almost a thousand years ago, and it's still relevant today. O Divine Master, grant that I might not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. As we continue our six-part devotional series, today we're focusing on work. God did not create us to be passive creatures. Since the beginning, he has given us the purpose and task to be stewards over his creation. We take care of our families, we take care of our finances, and we take care of other people's needs. So as Christians, we understand that our true vocation is not found in the identity of a business card or social status, but rather that we're called to be ambassadors of Christ. We're given the gift of reconciliation to represent the love and goodness of God in all that we do. The Apostle Paul wrote this, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord not for human masters, since you know that you will receive your inheritance from the Lord as your reward. It is in the Lord Christ that you are serving. As we work, it's good to know that God is using us as his hands and feet to bring goodness, righteousness, and justice to the world around us. Even in the small things, such as listening to others, or responding to challenges with kindness, or giving a voice to those who are often shoved to the side, and praying for your clients. Let's pray this prayer before we start our work day. Loving God, here are my hands. What do you want me to create or build today? Who do you want me to serve? What activities should I keep my hands away from? May these hands help me build your kingdom. Loving God, here's my voice. I commit to only speaking words of life today, words that build up and not tear down, always speaking the truth and always speaking it in love. Help me to be a voice to the voiceless today. And please show me when to stay quiet. Oh God, may my voice make this world be more like you've made it to be. Loving God, here is my heart. You know the deepest longings of my heart. I humbly hold them out before you. Grace and peace.